Ayun. Okay na. Okay, so we will be continuing uh, doon sa term of office ng mga regular members of the National Police Commission. If you can remember, ito yung last topic natin. Ay, uh, meron tayong four regular members of the commission. Ito yung qualifications nila. And then, ito. Okay, so the four regular and full-time commissioners shall be appointed by the president for a term of six years without reappointment or extension. This means that kapag na-appoint ka ng minsan as a commissioner of the National Police Commission, hindi ka na pwedeng ma-appoint ulit. So, minsanan lang siya. And you will be appointed for uh, six years. Okay. Upon the effectivity of Republic Act 8551, the terms of office of the current commissioners are deemed expired, which shall constitute a bar to their reappointment or an extension of their terms in the commission, except for current commissioners who have served less than two years of their terms of office who may be reappointed by the president for a maximum term of two years. So, uh, uh, they can still be... Uh, appointed by the president for a maximum term of two years by virtue of Republic Act 8551. So, example. So, Attorney Clifford Langbis became the chairman of the National Police Commission on January 1, 2010. Within what day shall he serve as such? Kailan daw siya consider na chairman na ng NAPLCOM? So, there is no specific term for for office of Attorney Langbis to be the chairperson of the commission. Attorney Langbis as the secretary of the ILG and the ex-official chairman of the commission. If you can remember, kung sino man ang secretary ng DILG, matik part na siya ng uh, magiging commissioner siya ng NAPOLCOM as ex-official member. Okay. He remains in such position at the pleasure of the President. That means na hanggat hindi siya inaalis ng presidente, he will remain in that position. In other words, uh, the chairperson may be removed anytime by the president if he wants to. At kung gusto rin naman ng presidente na magstay ka sa position na yun, then you will stay. So this is also true with the TNP chief who is the ex-official member of the commission who may be removed anytime with his tenure of office shall not exceed four years. Kasi ang um, PNP chief maximum naman talaga ng kanyang serbisyo ay four years. Pero sa reality, ang kadalasang naa-appoint as PNP chief are those who are around two years or one year or less na lang sa serbisyo. Kumbaga, mga 54 or 55 years old na sila during that time na naa-appoint sila as PNP chief. But, in any case, sabi natin sobrang galing mo at gusto ka ng presidente, maximum mo talaga is four years. So, ganun din ang maximum time na pwede siyang mag-serve as an ex-official member of the National Police Commission. So, what are the kinds of incapacity that may be suffered by the chairperson of the NAPOLCOM and who shall preside during said incapacity? Kapag Sinabi natin incapacity, ito na yung mawawalan siya ng kapasidad, mawawalan siya ng kakayahan para mag-serve as the chairperson of the National Police Commission. So, first kind of incapacity is temporary and then the other one is permanent. When we say temporary, in case of absence due to the temporary incapacity of the chairperson like illness, the vice chairperson shall serve as chairperson until that the chairperson is present or regains capacity to serve. Sabihin natin nagpa na aksidente, kailangan niya mag-recuperate ng isang buwan. So, that is only a temporary incapacity. Kumbaga, kailangan lang uh, mag-act yung vice chairperson as the chairperson during the time na incapacitated ang uh, chairperson natin. But, on the other hand, yung permanent incapacity naman, in case of death, 
permanent incapacity, disqualification, or removal of the chairperson, the vice per- chairperson shall also act as such until a new chairperson shall have been appointed by the president and qualified. Anong kaibahan? Sa temporary, babalik pa yung chairperson. Sa permanent, dahil nga permanent na siyang incapacitated, na matay, kaya naging uh, disqualified, nagkaroon siya ng kaso, yung mga ganong bagay. Vice chairperson muna, hanggat hindi pa nag a si President. Pwede rin naman kasi na si Vice Chairperson ang i-appoint ni President. Pero, again, depende nga yan sa trip ni President. Okay. Units consisting the commission. First is, first unit is the commission proper. So, it is composed of the offices of the chairman and four regular commissioners. So, yung mga commissioner natin, sila yun. Sila yung part ng commission proper. And then, we also have another unit called the staff services. So, first part of the staff services or first uh, department, kumbaga, is the planning and research service. So, this which shall provide technical services to the commission in areas of overall policy formulation, strategic and operational planning, management systems or procedures, evaluation and monitoring of the Commission's programs, projects, and internal operations, and shall conduct thorough research and analysis on social and economic conditions affecting peace and order in the country. Kumbaga, sa planning and research. Yun nga eh, research, di ba? So, sila yung naghahanap ng mga supporting details, mga cases, para makatulong sa paggagawa ng ganito, oh, yan, oh, policy formulation, strategic and operational planning, para makagawa ka ng magandang plano, para makagawa ka ng isang magandang polisiya, policy. Of course, you have to conduct your research. Kailangan mong magbase sa uh, available data. For example, maganda ba na may nuclear power plant dito sa Pilipinas? Ano ang epekto nun? So, ang, ano ang epekto nun kung magkakaroon tayo? Kung magiging operational yon. So, dahil wala tayo nun, magbe-base ka sa mga countries na gumamit na nun. Ano ang, ang resulta kapag, ganun, kapag meron sila nun? So, that's research. Okay. And then, uh, we also have the Legal Affairs Service, which shall provide the Commission with efficient and effective service as legal counsel of the Commission, draft or study contracts affecting the Commission, and submit appropriate recommendations pertaining thereto, and render legal opinions arising from the administration and operation of the Philippine National Police and the Commission. So, tumutulong din sila sa ating... Uh, sa operations ng Philippine National Police. Nagbibigay sila ng legal opinions. May mga pagkakataon kasi na hinihingi yan ng PNP or the media, then the Legal Affairs Service should be responsible with that. And then we also have the Crime Prevention and Coordination Service, which shall undertake criminological researches and studies, formulate a national crime prevention plan, develop a crime prevention and information program, and provide editorial direction for all criminology research and crime prevention publication. May separate service for criminology because this is one of the main uh, duties and responsibilities of the Philippine National Police, di ba? Para masugpo yung krimen, para hindi na makapagpatuloy yung paglaganap ng krimen. So, you have to understand the root of crime. So, yun na nga yung criminology. Kaya dito, may research pa rin. Ayun. Okay? Then we also have the personnel and administrative service which shall perform personal functions for the commission 
administer the entrance and promotional examinations for policemen, provide the necessary services relating to records, correspondence, supply, uh, property and equipment, security and general services, and the maintenance and utilization of facilities and provide services relating to manpower, career planning and development, personal transactions, and employee welfare. So, kaya nga tinawag na personnel and administrative service dahil patungkol ito sa mga tao na nagtatrabaho sa commission pati na rin sa Philippine National Police. So, kung mag apply ka rin ng, uh, for promotion ka, dadaan din yan sa commission. And then we also have the Inspection, Monitoring, and Investigation Service which shall conduct continuous inspection and management audit of personnel facilities and operations at all levels of command of the Philippine National Police. Monitor the implementation of the Commission's programs and projects relative to law enforcement and monitor and investigate police anomalies and irregularities. Um, Napolcom kasi ay nagsisilbing bantay din ng PNP. Kaya dapat kung ano yung mga policy ng Napolcom na sisiguro na naa-apply ng PNP. Kasi di ba, walang sense kung hindi rin nasusunod yung standards. Wala rin sense na gumagawa sila ng policy. Tapos, uh, hindi naman pinatutupad o kaya hindi naman sinusunod. Di ba? Kaya nandito ang Inspection Monitoring and Investigation Service para masiguro na yung mga policies na yon, yung mga standards na yon, yung mga projects ay nagagawa. Tsaka kapag may mga, uh, sabi nga dyan, police anomalies, the commission will take care of it. Another staff service is the installations and logistics service which shall review the Commission's plans and programs and formulate policies and procedures regarding acquisition, inventory, control, distribution, maintenance, and disposal of supplies, and shall oversee the implementation of programs on transportation facilities and installations and the procurement and maintenance of supplies and equipment. So, yung mga gamit na meron, mga... Uh, drawers, mga computer, yung mga ganun bagay, barrel, uh, chine-check din ng uh, installations and logistics service. Kompleto pa ba? Yung mga gamit, baka yung mga lamesa, bawas na. Yung mga ganun. And then we also have the financial service, which shall provide the commission with staff advice and assistance on budgetary and financial matters, including the overseeing of the processing and disbursement of funds pertaining to the scholarship program and surviving children of deceased and or permanent incapacitated PNP personnel. Kapag kasi may namatay na uh, PNP personnel, may tutulong sa inyo regarding the burial, pati yung mga benefits na makukuha ninyo. Uh, nung fa family, ha? I have a friend, although ito naman ay sa military. Uh, her father died when she was 16, I think, 17. Tapos hanggang sa, uh, I think he, she was first year college. Yeah, first year college siya. Then hanggang sa nakatapos siya ng, uh, I think, second year ay sinagot pa ng Air Force yung tuition fee niya sa school. O yun. Kung bagay yung mga ganyang tulong, meron din yun sa commission. Okay. And then, another unit in the commission, aside from the commission proper, the staff services, is the disciplinary appellate boards. The commission shall establish formal administrative disciplinary appellate machinery consisting of the National Appellate Board and the Regional Appellate Boards. NAB, tsaka RAB. Dito muna tayo sa NAB, National Appellate Board. Okay, so this shall, shall be composed of the chairman and its members. So when you say uh, the chairman, 
of the appellate board is the vice chairman of the NAPOLCOM. Kung maalala ninyo, sa NAPOLCOM, di ba, merong apat. Yung vice chairman doon is the chairman of the National Appellate Board. Okay. And then, uh, the members are the three other regular members of the NAPOLCOM. Ano ang trabaho nila? Ano ang appellate jurisdiction of the National Appellate Board? So, decisions of the chief PNP where the penalty imposed is demotion or dismissal from service. Pwede kang umapila sa NAB. Disciplinary recommendation of the Inspector General, uh, IAS, that were not acted upon by the chief PNP within 30 days from submission by the Inspector General of the Internal Affairs Service or the IAS, wrong spelling, IAS yan, where the rec recommended penalty is demotion or dismissal. So, kapag hindi ipinatupad ni Chief PNP yung desisyon ng Inspector General ng IAS, then pwede nang maki... pwede nang uwapila sa NAB. And the decision of Inspector General affirming the resolution of the regional IAS dismissing the complaint for lack of probable cause. Okay, doon tayo sa mas uh, mababa. We call it the Regional Appellate Board. So the chairman of the Regional Appellate Board is the senior officer of the Napolcom Regional Office. Okay, so members niya is one coming from the PNP who is designated by the PNP Regional Director and one coming from the Regional Peace and Order Council who is appointed by the resolution of the council. So, take note, the designation of both members shall be confirmed by the Vice Chairperson or the Executive Officer of the NAPOLCOM and they shall serve for three years from confirmation unless sooner revoked by the designating authority. It must be stressed further that the presence of the chairperson of any of its member shall con constitute a quorum and the RAB shall, be, shall deliberate on cases appealed to it at least once a month. Okay. So, appellate jurisdiction of the regional appellate board. Ano naman yung nasasakop ng regional appellate board? So, first is the decisions of the PLEB uh, where the penalty imposed is demotion or dismissal from service. And then, Decisions of the PNP Regional Director or Equivalent Supervisors where the penalty imposed is demotion or dismissal from service. Another uh, part of the jurisdiction of RAB uh, are decisions of city or municipal mayors in cases falling within their respective jurisdiction. Also, Disciplinary Recommendations of Regional Internal Affairs Service or IAS which were not acted upon by the PNP Regional Director or Equivalent Supervisors within 30 days from submission by Regional IAS where the recommended penalty is demotion or dismissal from service. Kung mapapansin ninyo, ulit-ulit lang yung demotion or dismissal from service kasi most likely yan lang naman talaga ang magiging parusa mo. Uh, either ma-de-demote ka, mababawasan yung ranggo mo, or malis ka na sa serbisyo. Kaya pwede kang umapila. Okay. So take note, equivalent supervisors are PNP officers occupying positions or designations equivalent to the chief of police, provincial director, and regional director who are vested with disciplinary authority over personnel of their respective offices. Okay, so what agency shall be in charge with monitoring the performance, accomplishment, and or activities of the NAPOLCOM Regional Appellate Boards? 
So the answer is that it is the legal affairs service. Ito yun. Yung, ito. Uh, under staff services ng uh, isang unit ng Napolcom. Yan, legal affairs service. Ito. It is the Legal Affairs Service in coordination with the Office of Regional Appellate Board, coordinator in the Central Office, which is tasked to assist the NAPOLCOM in monitoring the performance, accomplishment, or activities of the NAPOLCOM RAB. So, take note. The decisions of the National Appellate Board and the Regional Appellate Board may be appealed to the Secretary of the Department of Interior and Local Government, decisions of Secretary of the ILG in the exercise of his appellate jurisdiction and decisions of the NAPLCOM and Bank, a summary dismissal authority may be appealed to in the Civil Service Commission. Bakit ang dami? May DILG, may Civil Service. Because police officers are government employees, kaya sakop talaga sila ng mga yan. Okay. So, isa. Uh, and Powers naman. Powers and functions of the NAPOLCOM. Yung isa sa mga power and function, powers and functions of the NAPOLCOM is that it exercises administrative control and operational supervision over the Philippine National Police, which shall mean the power to Number one is develop policies and promulgate a police manual prescribing rules and regulations for efficient organization, administration, and operation, including criteria for manpower allocation, distribution, and deployment, recruitment, selection, promotion, and retirement of personnel, and the conduct of qualifying entrance and promotional examinations for uniform members. Kaya lahat ng mga kilos ng ating mga kapulis, kapulisan ay nakaayon sa kung ano yung sinulat o sinabi ng NAPOLCOM. Kaya nga sabi, di ba, sila ang NAPOLCOM ang magpe-prescribe ng rules and regulations ng PNP. And then, trabaho din ng NAPOLCOM to examine and audit and thereafter establish the standards for which, for such purposes on a continuing basis, the performance, activities, and facilities of all police agencies throughout the country. And then establish a system of uniform crime reporting. Baka familiar na kayo dito sa UCR. Di ba? Meron tayong blotter system. Pag may nangyaring krimen sa'yo, punta ka sa istasyon, magre-report ka doon. Yung blotter na yon i-encode. Magiging e-blotter. Electronic blotter. And then, uh, syempre, hindi lang naman yung pag upload nun ang silbi ng blotter. Kinokollect mo din yung mga krimen. Yung mga data sa mga krimen na nangyayari. Kaya, uh, nagkakaroon tayo ng reporting system na maa-access pati nung mga nasa national. Para alam nila kung accurate ba yung mga uh, policies na pinatutupad nila doon sa uh, PNP. So take note, it was previously observed by the NAPOLCOM that different police units use varied criteria or approaches in determining when crime is considered solved for crime reporting purposes. Hence, the NAPOLCOM directed the following for crime reporting purposes. So a case... Meron kasi tayong solved cases at saka cleared cases. Uh, Pag-aaralan nyo yan sa, I'm not sure kung research or sa technical report writing ninyo. Or baka na ituro na. Okay? Hindi ko lang sure. But, eto nga, may solved cases and may cleared cases. A case shall be considered solved when the following elements concur. First, the offender has been identified. Kilala mo na kung sino gumawa ng krimen. There is sufficient evidence to charge him. Kilala mo na at may sapat ka ng ebidensya para magsampa ng kaso laban sa kanya. The offender has actually been taken to custody 
and the offender has actually been charged before the prosecutor's office or court of appropriate jurisdiction. So, dapat na-aresto mo siya, sapat ang ebidensya mo, at nakapagsampa ka ng kaso. Okay? Another is that a case shall also be considered solved when some elements beyond police control prevent the arrest of the offender, such as when the victim refuses to prosecute, ayaw na lang magsampa ng, uh, ng kaso ng biktima, after the offender has been identified or the offender dies or absconds. Pag sinabi natin abscond, tumakas na. Lumaya sa Pilipinas. Yung mga yan. Uh, or nag-file siya ng bail tapos tumakas siya dun sa bail niya. The case will be considered solved. Okay. For the basis of uh, reporting lang ha, hindi naman ibig sabihin okay na yung kaso. Kasi narinig niyo yung word na solved. This is only for uh, reporting purposes. And then the arrest of the offender can solve several crimes or several offenders may be arrested in the process of solving one crime. Conduct an annual self-report survey and compile statistical data for the accurate assessment of the crime situation and the proper evaluation of efficiency and effectiveness of all police units in the country. Ito yung sinabi ko sa inyo na uh, trabaho nga ng NAPOLCOM na i-check kung nagagawa ba talaga o na ipatutupad ba talaga ng maayos yung mga standards, yung mga policies and programs and projects ng NAPOLCOM. And then, approve or modify plans and programs and on education and training, logistical requirements, communications, records, information systems, crime laboratory, crime prevention, and crime reporting. Lahat yan, trabaho ni NAPOLCOM. So, take note, in relation to this duty, the NAPOLCOM performed the following. Dito, sa number five. It prescribed the standard set of procedures and presentation of program review and analysis by the PNP regional and provincial offices. Kung baga sa pagpe-present, meron ng standard para uh, walang detalye na hindi mailalagay dahil nga may standard ka ng uh, format. With this, the PNP regional and provincial offices are required to submit to the NAPOLCOM Regional Office, their annual operations, plan, and budget on or before the 10th day of the ensuing year. And then, uh, it also directed the PNP chief to circularize the information dissemination on expanded tertiary education equivalency and accreditation program or ETIAP. <clears throat> I myself is a lecturer for ETIAP. Pero, um, ETIAP kasi, uh, for criminology ha, either may experience ka na sa security, matagal ka na sa security, uh, tapos nag-enroll ka ng ETIAP, yung ibang schools ay one sem lang, yung iba ay isang taon. Then, pagkatapos mong makuha yung units mo, para ka nag-apply ng, para ka nag-enroll sa college. Sa CRIM, actually. Ay, pwede ka nang mag-take ng board. Ganon. Remember Pacquiao? Senator Manny Pacquiao? Ba, ETF graduate din siya ng, I think, POLSAI, Political Science. Bakit siya naging qualified for uh, ETF ng POLSAI? Because, politician siya. Diba? etong ETF eto yung uh, na nga, matagal na siyang security guard matagal na siyang sundalo retired siya na secure niya security guard retired na sundalo retired na uh, iba pang nasa law enforcement qualified sila na mag-apply sa ITA so at all level of the PNP and required all PNP regional offices to coordinate with their corresponding CHED regional offices to get the list of ETF providers so that PNP members who are college undergraduates, although that term is wrong, 
can undergo educational assessment based on knowledge, skills, prior learning obtained through non-formal and informal educational experiences kasi hindi naman lahat in reality, hindi naman talaga lahat ng bagay matututunan mo sa school. Madami kang matututunan sa labas din ng school. Kaya yung mga skills, yung experience na na-acquire mo doon sa mga uh, applicable for law enforcement can be considered in order for you to be enrolled sa ETF. Okay. Uh, and be granted equivalent credits and appropriate certificates and degrees. Nung nagle-lecture pa ako noon, hindi pa pandemic, ang mga tinuturuan ko, mga security guard, mga uh, hindi natapos ang criminology, tapos nag, nagtrabaho na sa security, pwede yun. Okay? Yan, yung mga IT ako. Kaya yung mga Sundalo nga na sundalo pa rin o kaya mga retire na gustong magturo sa criminology pero syempre kailangan nila ng degree na related yun, itiyap pwede. So it again task the PNP to design, establish and implement a continuing education program for the Philippine National Police Officers and members in coordination with the Civil Service Commission the Commission on Human Rights, the Commission on Higher Education, and the Philippine Public Safety College through distance education program and or an in-service education program focusing in law enforcement, criminal investigation, human rights, or similar program. Okay. And then, it also clarified the scope and extent of its power and administrative control and operational supervision over the PNP on financial and logistic matters. It also authorized the PNP to establish and implement on a continuing basis an educational support program for deserving PNP uniformed personnel, and it required the PNP to submit quarterly accomplishment report. This is for the NAPLCOM to plan effectively and responsibly to ensure the attainment of PNP goals. So, ano pa yung ibang power and functions of the NAPOLCOM? To affirm, reverse, or modify through the National Appellate Board personal uh, disciplinary actions involving demotion or dismissal from the service imposed upon members of the PNP by the Chief of the Philippine National Police. And then exercise appellate jurisdiction through the regional appellate boards over administrative cases against policemen and over decisions on claims or pol for police benefits. And then prescribe minimum standards for arms, equipment, and uniforms. And after consultation with the Philippine Heraldry Commission for insignia of ranks, awards, and medals of honor. So yung mga uh, insignias na nasa uniform ng PNP, lahat yan ay napolcom ang may pakana. The standards of the uniform personnel uh, of the PNP must be revised which should be clearly distinct from the military of the uniform lang ito. Shall be, should be clearly distinct from the military and reflective of the civilian character of the police. Kaya iba ang uniform ng uh, military kumpara sa uh, PNP. Kung mapapansin ninyo, um, military, ang suot talaga nila, camouflage. Diba? In talaga kasi ma-identify ma mo pag naka-camouflage, sundalo eh. Sa PNP, may camouflage din naman, pero hindi rin katulad ng kulay nung sa uh, military. Kung baga, distinct pa rin siya. Ano pang iba nilang powers? Issue sa PINA, uh, and subpina do sistecom in matters pertaining to the discharge of its own powers and duties and designate who among its personnel can issue such processes and administer oaths in connection therewith. Inspect and assess the compliance of the PNP on the established criteria for manpower allocation 
distribution, and deployment and their impact on the community and the crime situation. And thereafter, formulate appropriate gu guidelines for maximization of resources and effective utilization of the PNP personnel. And then monitor the performance of the local chief executives as deputies of the commission. And monitor and investigate police anomalies and irregularities. Nabanggit na rin niyang kanina na sila talaga ang nag investiga kung merong uh, mali na nagagawa o nangyayari sa ENP. So, uh, another, aside from the administrative functions, is that advise the president on all matters involving police functions and administration, render to the president and to the Congress an annual report on its activities and accomplishments during the 30 days after the end of the calendar year, which shall include an appraisal of the conditions obtaining in the organization and administration of police agencies in the municipalities, cities, and provinces throughout the country and recommendations for appropriate remedial legislation. And then recommend to the president through the secretary within 60 days before the commencement of each calendar year a crime prevention program. Actually, meron nga tayong crime prevention month, di ba? Uh, this is tuwing September of every year. And then perform such other functions necessary to carry out the provisions of Republic Act 8551 and as the President may direct. So, maliban sa mga nakasulat sa RA 8551, pwede pa rin mag-utos yung Presidente at kailangan pa rin nilang sumunod. So take note, the National Police Commission shall be an agency attached to the Department of Interior and Local Government for policy and program coordination. Okay. Doon sa number one, ito. Number one na power and functions of the, PN, the NAPOLCOM. It is stated above that the NAPOLCOM has administrative control over the PNP. Anong ibig sabihin ng administrative control? Administrative control shall encompass but not limited to the promulgation of policies, standards, plans, and programs, to the review, approval, reversal, or modification of plans and programs relating to personnel, organization, financial requirements, logistics, discipline, benefits, training, education, and operations, the conduct of management audit, performance evaluation, and inspection, to determine compliance with policies, standards, and guidelines, and the ad adoption of measure to ensure that the PNP is engaged effectively, efficiently, and economically in the pursuit of its mandated goals. So, administrative control, kung mapapansin ninyo, lahat yan may papel. As in, literal na papel, di ba? Yun yung pang-admin. Okay, but the actual operations kung papaano yung crime prevention, hindi yan trabaho ng NAPOLCOM. Trabaho yun ng PNP. Sinisiguro lang ng NAPOLCOM na ginagawa ng PNP ng tama yung crime prevention na yun. Kaya nga, ayan o. Uh, policy standards, plans, and programs. Yan, yung pagpapatupad ng mga yan, yung review, approval, reversal ng mga yan. Trabaho ni NAPOLCOM. In short, administrative control is the power of an officer to alter, modify, nullify, or set aside what a subordinate officer has done in the performance of his duties and to substitute the judgment of said subordinate. By virtue of administ administrative control of NAPOLCOM over the PNP, the former may order the proper procedure in designating a chief of police of all cities and municipalities of Metro Manila. O, tanong. May the NAPOLCOM delegate the enumerated powers and functions? Pwede ba? Ibigay niya yun sa iba? I-delegate niya na lang yun? Yes. The authority of the NAPOLCOM to review, approve, or disapprove, modify, or endorse the PNP personal actions 
and or the PNP financial transactions involving regional operations may be delegated to the NAPOLCOM regional director. Hindi naman lahat kailangan yung headquarters ang gagawa. Pwede yung ipasa sa regional directors. However, regional directors ng NAPOLCOM, ha? hindi ng PNP. However, the other powers and functions which are explicitly vested to the commission and bank, ibig sabihin doon lang sa mga commissioners, to the chairman, to the vice chairman, or to the commissioner in charge cannot be delegated. Kung trabaho yan ng uh, commissioner, ng commissioner, then hindi niya pwedeng i-delegate yun. Pero kung hindi naman yan specific, hindi naman sinasabi ng batas na ang gagawa lang nito, ang magdidesisyon lang dito ay ang commissioner, then pwede yung i-delegate. The last power and function of the NAPOLCOM is to perform such other functions necessary to carry out the provisions of Republic Act 8551 and as the President may direct. Uh, what are some specific acts already accomplished by the Commission in performing this power and function, either before or after the effectivity of RA 8551? The specific acts already accomplished by the Commission to necessarily carry out the provisions of RA 8551 and as the President may direct include the following. Directing the National Police Highway Patrol Group, HPG, to establish checkpoints on roads leading to all ports in the Philippines. Then, approving the establishment and operation of the Salam Police Center. So, that police center is purposely for keeping a healthy relationship with Muslim community, overseeing police matters concerning police, uh, Muslim communities, including the handling of issues such as alleged harassment and discrimination against Muslim Filipinos. The establishment of Salam Police Center was recommended by former President Gloria Arroyo in her pronouncement in a cabinet meeting. And then, uh, prescribing guidelines for improving case management and initiating efforts towards addressing the problem of trafficking in persons. Although there are some cases that trafficking in persons is uh, given to the F NBI. Okay. Depende kung... Uh, depende sa pag-uusap nila kung sino ang maghahandle. Then, authorizing the PNP chief to grant overtime pay to members of the PNP who are required to render overtime services and prescribing certain guidelines the purpose. Ayun. Pero, uh, kung pulis, kung tunay kang pulis, uh, kahit nalagpas na yung oras ng shift mo, tatrabaho ka pa rin. Yan mo yung 10 minutes na lang, pa-uwi ka na, nagbihis ka na nga eh. Na, palit ka na lang uniform, nag-civilian ka na, 10 minutes na lang eh. Tapos may dumating na kaso, kasi kasuhin mo pa yun, uniform ka ulit. Ganun. <laughs> then prescribing the authorized letterhead format for the PNP National, Regional, Provincial, and District Office, as well as City and Municipal Stations. And then, uh, ano lang yun, for... Uh, communication. Establishing the award system for the cleanest and greenest units of the PNP. Requiring all PNP members to undergo drug tests in addition to or as a part of their annual physical and medical examination. Ayun. 